As you can see from the title, I have deployed my first AI agent, so today I need your help in testing it. Let me explain why. This video was sponsored by HubSpot. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna blow this secret straight away, and that is the Claude Tree Haiku model. Wow, this is, if you haven't tried it, go ahead. So you can see, I put down some notes here. So it has GPT-4 level-ish response. If you look at the latest uh, LLM Arena update, you can see Claude Tree Haiku now is in sixth place. It's beating some older versions of GPT-4. That is just crazy. And Claude Tree Opus now has climbed to the top. Well deserved, if you ask me. But if you go back here, you can see the Claude Tree Haiku model has a 200k context window. It's super fast. And it's super cheap, so only a quarter of a dollar per million input tokens. So what I have been using it for is to create an AI agent that kind of leverages what I have called in-context training to answer my YouTube comments. So basically, you can see here, of course, we have set a system message in our code. So what I've been using here now, instead of doing fine-tuning, instead of doing, yeah, you can call it rag, not exactly, but I'm using what I have called in-context training, right? So in the context, we feed a bunch of instructions. I have collected 40 plus example pairs. So it's kind of a user comment from my YouTube channel and my answer. So I'm going to show you all this, how I set it up. I also include the video transcription from the video I'm going to use this on. And of course, we have to include the user's YouTube comment in this context. And we have some more instructions. I'm going to show you all of this setup uh, later. And this means that we can kind of get the AI agent to answer in my style to the YouTube comments. And that is what I need your help with today. Uh, I need you to kind of go to this video, just make any comment. Uh, I'm going to show you an example here soon. Uh, let, let, let me just bring that up straight away. First, I just want to say sorry to Daryl for being a part of the beta test of this, even though you didn't know. But he left a pretty interesting comment here about the NVIDIA uh, most recent GTC note. And the bot responded, uh, even though it didn't have any information about the NVIDIA Blackwell chips, it kind of put together from the comment here. Uh, that's a really interesting about the NVIDIA Blackwell chips. I have to check that out. Sounds like it could be a step towards I'm describing. So with this in-context training, it kind of knows what the video is about. And with the information from the comment from Daryl here, it can kind of bring up good answer back, I think. So it's pretty interesting to see. Uh, again, sorry about that. Uh, so if you have time today and you want to leave a comment to help me test out this. So here I kind of left a comment and I got a response and I just left, yeah, I rate this comment 8 out of 10, right? So if you have time to do that, I would really appreciate it. When it comes to integrating AI in the workplace, writing great prompts for Midjourney, ChatGPT can be a game changer for efficiency. But where do you start? HubSpot, the sponsor of today's video, has got you covered with their free ebook, AI Trends for Marketers. This comprehensive guide is your key to unlocking the full potential of AI in your marketing workflows. In today's fast paced landscape, staying ahead of the curve is crucial for marketers. By leveraging AI powered tools and strategies, you can streamline processes, gain valuable insights, and deliver personal experiences to your audience. HubSpot's ebook is packed with the latest trends and practical tips, from understanding the basics of AI to exploring applications in social media, email marketing, and content creation. You'll also discover how to choose the right AI tools, how to integrate these into your existing marketing stack, and measure their impact on your campaigns. My favorite is a practical tips section. HubSpot dives into the best practices for crafting effective prompts and enhancing the use of the tools you already use. With real-world examples that showcase how well-crafted prompts can lead to more accurate and valuable AI-generated content and ultimately saving time and resources for your team. So don't miss out on this opportunity and grab your free copy of the ebook by following the link in the description today. A big thanks to HubSpot for sponsoring this video. Now let's go back to the project. So what really makes this possible is that this model, Claude Tree Haiku, is so cheap, right? And we can use the 200k token window to kind of fill in so much information and even though we can do that and when I run this now I have 8247 around that ish input tokens in every single response and the output is gonna be around 50 to 100 I think I did some calculations and the total price per comment is just 00 c 2153 around that dollars per comment and that gives me like a 2.15 dollars per thousand comments and that is a lot of comments so i would say that's really cheap right 
uh, if you use GPT-4 or Claude 3 Opus for this. Uh, that's gonna cost you a lot, and I think this is like 50 or like 100% cheaper than ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo with much better response and a much better context window. So I would say uh, Claude 3 Haiku has kind of enabled uh, the AI agent's dream I kind of had for some 6 to one, months to 1 year ago. So I'm definitely gonna be building out more of this now to try to help me with kind of my business, right? If you look at the workflow here, it's a pretty simple setup. So we have a YouTube comment, so this is going to be fed via the YouTube API to our Python hub, Python code. It's going to send a comment to Claude Haiku With all the in-context training, we're going to answer that. And that is going to be fed back to YouTube again and to respond to that single comment via the YouTube API. So I set this system up to check for new comments every three minutes to kind of say on the quota. So if you leave a comment, you will get an answer back in at least three minutes, right? Okay, so I think we're just going to take a look at how I set this in-context training up now and do a few tests and yeah, let's do it. So I'm not going to waste your time by going through every single line of the code here because this is a very specific use case for me running a YouTube channel, right? But you can mold this into every kind of use case you want if you have one. But you, if you're really interested in this specific use case, just send me an email or something and we can work something out. Uh, but let's see here. So this is kind of my generate answer function. So this is where the comments are going to come in. So you can see I have a system message here and I have something, a variable called in context training. I know I said training here, but training, right? <laughs> and this is going to open a file I have named context.text. Uh, but before we look at that, let's take a look at the prompt here. So we're going to use an F string. We're going to say context is going to be equal to and here we are going to feed in our in-context training, right? And then I just continue the prompt. So basically, I just tried this. Learn from the context. I referred back to that. Give a short but great answer in only lowercase uh, to the following YouTube comment. And here again, we kind of fetch the comment and feed that in here. And I just end it with answer the YouTube comment in the style of Chris. So the reason I can put in the style of Chris, if we uh, go and take a look at our in-context training now. If we start on top here, you can see I have example comments. So I just put that equal to. And here I have put in 40 of these example pairs. So maybe just a user put down, I love your work, great job, keep it up. And then I answer this. So this is a comments I have answered. So this is real world data, right? It's not synthetic. So yeah, you can see I put in, yeah, you can see it's 40 comments. So we have these example pairs, right? So this is one pair. Uh, I put down some extra information. So a link to my YouTube membership uh, should be in the description below. My email, right? If someone asks for that, it should be .com, right? Okay. Uh, some questions, how to get access to GitHub. That's something I always get. Send an email and we'll invite you. Yeah. So, I just try to feed as much info as possible in the transcript. And here I kind of do the video transcripts. Uh, I'm going to quickly show you how I do that if people are interested. So this is going to be quite big. So this is the full transcript of the YouTube video, right? So you can see it's quite long. And you can see from the example comments, info and the video transcript. So I kind of refer back to all these uh, variables here above. Your task is to mimic the way Chris would respond to comments. Also, don't restate the user's question too much in your answer because that just takes up a lot of space, right? If I repeat the question every single time. So this is kind of my context file. So this is the on in context training file. We also have the system message. So that's pretty simple. So you're an expert in generative AI, LLMs and machine learning. You work for Chris from the YouTube channel, All About AI. Your task is to mimic the way Chris would respond to comments. So that is my simple but effective system message, right? And you can see we are using the Claude 3 Haiku model. Uh, it says max tokens uh, 1024, but that is output tokens, right? So not input. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you set here. So yeah, that is basically how I set this up. And then we're just going to run this. So I think we're going to just do, let's do one test and kind of see how fast we can get this back, right? Okay, so let's leave this comment here. So yeah, this is good. Uh, what would you think would be the biggest challenge to create this system? And how do I become a member to get access to the code? So let's copy that. Let's go here and leave that comment. And you can kind of see in the background now. So this is 
every third minutes this is gonna look for a new comment and if we get one it's gonna try to answer it okay so you can see now we kind of picked up a new comment here so if we blow this up now a bit whoa that was big uh, you can kind of see here uh, so this is the answer it gave right if we scroll a bit up here sending prompt to anthropic api and here is kind of the big prompt we sent so every single line here, this was in the prompt, right? And then we kind of got this response back. If we zoom in a bit, you can see it's 8,000 input tokens, 45 output. Thanks. The biggest challenge should probably be the compute and storage needed to save all the inner monologue thoughts. Become a member is easy. Just use the link in the description to join up. Perfect. That's a great answer, right? I think I'm very happy with that. If we go back here to our video now. You can see the comment is down here now. So that worked great, right? And then I can leave this. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. So I gave it an 8 out of 10, right? Okay, perfect. So it'd be great if you can do that. Yeah, that's basically how this works. Uh, so if you kind of want to see how I transcribe uh, to get the video transcript... Uh, in this from my YouTube videos. I'm just gonna quickly show you how I do that. So I'm just using Whisper and I just put uh, my video into an mp3 format. I just run this script here, right? And here you can kind of see text and transcribe everything into text. So basically we can just comment this. So basically our transcription for our video, we can go to our context and just feed it in here. So this adds a lot of information about the video so that our AI agent can answer questions about the video because it needs to know the content, right? So from my experience so far, it's a small test, but maybe I know more today. So I'm gonna be feeding this video transcript you are watching now into this, right? Uh, and then we can see if we can answer some of the questions, right? So pretty cool. So yeah, that is what I wanted to share with you today. So going forward, trying to use Cloud Tree Haiku to create this small, specific agent is gonna be something I will do and I will try to share as much uh, information as I find out on this YouTube channel so again if you have time to leave a quick comment and maybe rate it if you want to do that you don't have to it's up to you like you don't have to but uh, I really appreciate it and yeah thank you for tuning in go check out Claude 3 Haiku it's awesome also check out Opus so yeah I'm kind of happy we have something that kind of beats GPT-4 it's about time right <laughs> Uh, but other than that, thank you for tuning in. Have a great uh, weekend, Easter, I'll call it what you want. And I'll see you again on Sunday.